Welcome sweet yogis, my name is Sarah. I'm here today to guide you through a practice that I hope will open you up just a little bit more so that we can move from fear to love once again. Uh, today we're sitting Ishvara Pranidhana. It means surrender to your moment, to your, um, your highest principle, to your God, to God. And it's not saying that we're gonna be happy all the time. It's saying that we are going to surrender and lean in to the life that we are leading right now exactly as it's presenting itself to us. So be fiercely awake and alive and moving and ready. Um, and instead of fighting against life's twists and turns, to remain open to appreciating life as it unfolds. So just for instance, appreciating the moments at home right now, leaning into the uncomfortable at home, um, experiencing it fully. I'm not saying don't have emotions around it, but lean into it fully and feel it and then find something that you can appreciate. And in, their, in your practice and in life in general, there will be places that remain completely closed until you are ready to become uncomfortable enough to open them and to feel it all and to let go of things that no longer serve you. The pain, the pose, right? the present, the past, literally anything that's keeping you from right now. So we'll get started today in a forward fold at the top of your mat. And whenever I forward fold, I always imagine I'm giving myself a hug. So if you could just get in the mindset that this is your self care, this is your self love. And we're listening to a playlist today from my Spotify and it's called Mom Flow. So if you wanna sync your practice to my practice, um, that would be wonderful. You don't have to, or if you have music that you prefer, um, I invite you to go there. But let's get started again. Forward fold, top of your mat. Put my phone on, do not disturb. All right. Mom flow, we're at the top of your mat. And my hammies are really tight today. I live. And if your kids are walking around you, if your dog's walking around you, just embrace it. Embrace the changes. Embrace the waves that are coming at us in all directions right now. Forward fold, top of your mat. Grab opposite elbows. Drop the crown of your head. Bend your knees. Straighten one leg. Straighten the opposite leg. And just play here with the sensations running along the back side of the legs. We'll separate our feet about hip width distance. Place your right hand down. Take your left hand up. And every time we breathe in, we're moving up. Every time we exhale, we're closing or moving down. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Beautiful. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. One more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Let's take our hands to our hips. Bend your knees slowly. Move all the way up here at the top of your mat. We'll take our hands to our hearts. This is mountain pose. I invite you to set an intention for your practice here. What is an intention? It's something that you can weave throughout the poses, throughout the forms, even throughout your day, that'll bring you back to your present moment. So maybe it's centered and rooted in truth and love. It's super specific to you. And maybe it's to stand taller, to breathe bigger, to love harder, um, to be calm. Whatever it is, let's seal it in with a breath. Breathe in. Hot air out the mouth. Gorgeous, we'll take a deep breath in and remember it's starting at the base of your belly. Take a deep breath in, belly, ribs, chest. Open up your mouth, sigh it out. Push the air down and out. Let it take something with you that you don't need. Again, breathe in, big belly breath, this one's for you. Breathing in as much love and goodness as you can. Open up your mouth. This next breath is for someone you love. Take a deep breath in, belly. Ribs, chest, side out, 
one more time. This is for someone you do not know. Maybe it's somebody on the other side of the world. Breathe in, belly, ribs, chest, hot air out the mouth, let something go. Beautiful arms at side body. You're at the top of your mat. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift. Plant your hands. We'll walk it back. Drop your knees. High to low. Chest down, belly down. Low cobra. Your hands are under your shoulders. And we just pull up a little bit. Not trying to get any more too fast. Exhale, come on down. Hop up onto your knees. You'll need to walk your knees in so that they're underneath your hips. Inhale, open, drop the belly, open your heart. Exhale, navel to spine, tuck your chin, tuck your pelvis. Again, breathe in, take it up. Exhale, knee to mat. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. Beautiful, come back to a neutral spine. And we'll take the hands over to the left, lean the hips as much as you can over to the right back corner of your room. And you can lay your left ear on your left shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. We'll take the hands over to the right, send your hips all the way to the left back corner of the room. Beautiful. Come back to center. And we'll curl under the toes. Slowly roll back into downward facing dog. You're an inverted V on your mat. So if your mat could lift up, the amount of weight you're giving your hands, give that same amount of force to your feet. So if your mat could lift, I could snap it in half about right here. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, walk to the front. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Coming all the way up, big breath in, full deep. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, up. Breathe out and fold. Halfway lift. Belly in, plant your hands, walk, float it back, high to low. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take three breaths here. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, walk or float, you're at the top of your mat. Half lift, fold. Coming all the way up, you're rooted with the four corners of both of your feet. Exhale, hands to heart. And every time your hands come to your heart, you check back in with that intention. Inhale, arms up. Sun is shining today. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Plant your hands. Float it. Walk it back. High to low. Upward facing dog or cobra. So the difference is your knees are either on the mat or off the mat. You choose. Down dog, take your hips high. We'll take three breaths here together. And we can audibly sigh it out the mouth and let that awe sound be an expression of pain, of suffering, of anything other than clarity leaving the body. Again, breathe in. Ah, out the mouth. One more time, breathe in. Inhale, bend both knees, look forward. We'll take a baby hop to the top of our mat. Half lift, fold. Beautiful, inhale, chair utkatasana. So your hips are pretty low, right? Your knees are bent, they're in one line. Arms are up. And for some of us, especially the ones that have low back stuff going on, place your hands behind you, or you can take your hands to your heart. Again, every time you direct your hands to your heart, what are we focusing on? What is our intention? Float the heels. Navel to spine. Knit your ribs back. Lift your back ribs up. Heels down, toes up.
Your breath is fluid. It's a celebration of the life that you're living. Breathe in and up. Take it all the way up and back on the Vitasana. Standing, open heart. Exhale, lead with your heart and fold. Halfway lift. Plant your hands. Let's walk or float it back. High blow push up. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, walk or float. You're in chair pose once again. From here, lean all the weight into your right foot. We'll step the left foot back, crescent. So we're high up on the ball of the left foot. Bend deep into this right knee. If you can't maintain a 90 degree angle, that's okay, but give yourself a chance here. So maybe you widen your gait. See if you can drop the hips a little bit lower. If you're having any, anything that's telling you no right here, um, the contraction can start to happen, the compression in the low spine, you micro bend this left knee. And it immediately takes the pain away. There shouldn't be pain in yoga. Yoga is for healing. But we get it more into the musculature than we do into the bones. Hands to your heart. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take a twist to the right. We'll open up our arms. Look at the back right hand. We're slowing it down today. And sometimes a slower practice can be even more effective than like a power vinyasa because you're actually settling in and you're forcing your body to stay in a posture that's uncomfortable for an entire flow. So just notice. And notice how the unraveling in the mind of staying somewhere when you feel stuck kind of mirrors what's happening right now in life. Being in this age of social distancing, being home more than usual, right? Come out back to crescent. On your exhale, drop both of your hands to the inside of your right foot for runner's lunge. And we should get some immediate relief here. Drop your back knee, top of the foot down, and turn your toes to about two o'clock. We'll roll to the outside edge of the right foot. Bend the back leg. Maybe you reach around with the right hand, grab the foot. Again, those are all options. So just know that whichever place you find yourself that you're like, ooh, that feels good, stay with that one. Be your teacher. I am just a guide. Beautiful breath. We'll place the ball of the right foot on the mat, curl under the left toes, send the right foot back, plank. And we'll hold plank for five breaths and see if you can find your fullest expression of plank. So maybe if that's on the knees today, you're focusing more on your posture of your upper body. If it's on your toes, we're seeing how tight we can squeeze the muscles and hug the muscles to our midline. We are a straight force of energy. You can actually feel it, right? You can feel the pulsing sensations when you start to squeeze and lift. Down dog. Left leg up. Step it all the way through. Crescent lunge. belly in. Now we're not stuck in it. The belly is simply moving towards the spine so that the ribs can fit into place. So everything's starting to stack. Micro bend the back knee if you need to get out of the low back. Squeeze the right glute. Inhale. Exhale. Hands come to your heart. Check in with your intention as we breathe in. Prepare for twist. Exhale. Twist left. And we'll open up our arms here. Turn back to face the left fingertips. Every inhale, you're finding some lengthening through the spine. Every exhale, like you're wringing out a washcloth, you're finding just 
a little tiny hair of his face to twist. And the magic happens on the exhalation. So as you breathe in, lift. As you breathe out, twist, find a space. Beautiful yogis, inhale back to crescent. Exhale, runner stretch, hands move to the inside of this left leg. Drop the back knee, top of the foot down. Turn the left toes to about 11 o'clock and we'll rotate the foot open. So roll to the outside edge of this left foot. is fluid, breath is even. If all you did in a yoga class was just took deep breaths for the entire duration, no matter what was offered, all you did was like stayed in child's pose, you would feel so good after leaving the class. So the poses are just shapes meant to get us to the present moment. But yoga is a breath practice. So what we do in here, where it starts, where it ends, that's like the grit, that's the goodness of the practice. It's evoking the parasympathetic nervous system. It's making us live better, work better, be better, roll back to the ball of the foot. And we'll take this left leg back, plank. Breathe in, breathe out. And let's drop the hips to the right, back to center, to the left. Back to center, we'll do that about 10 more times. Just firing up the obliques, the side body. Sinking your breath with your movement. Four, three, two, and one. Take it to plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. Step it all the way through, warrior one. Externally rotated through the pelvis, so you have this beautiful opening along the right side hip. And it's rotating your leg out a little bit, and you see the more you rotate your right leg out, the more your left hip aligns to the front of the room. So we want our hips square to your front window, your bedroom wall, whatever, or wherever you are today. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two, like you're pushing the walls away, soft and steady. Equal amount of weight in both feet. So this is a common cue for a lot of our postures. We want equal amount of weight in both feet so we can fully feel the groundedness of these postures. Like there's roots from the bottom of your feet into the earth. You are safe. You are home. Inhale, we line up our feet. So our feet are faced towards me. Breathe in. On your exhale, we'll take a Buddha squat. So your hips go back, your knees go forward. You might have to walk in your feet a little bit shorter. This is a Buddha squat. So it's a little different than a goddess squat. This is more like a traditional squat. So your hips are back, your chest is lifted, but forward. Take a couple breaths here. Beautiful, on your inhale, you squeeze the glutes to bring you all the way up. Well, you're two to the back of the house. So now we're facing the left. 45 degree angle in this right leg. And you're leaning in with an open hip and an open heart space. Just see that's your gaze, left fingertips. Beautiful. Taking it to the back of the house for Vira Bhadrasana one. So now your hip points are square to the opposite side of your bedroom wall. Beautiful. 
and we'll take this big wide, now we'll move into goddess squat, turn your feet out of it, breathe in, exhale, we move into this state of this divine feminine energy. It's such a beautiful place to just sit with and feel. Feel your power. So this is our powerhouse right here, your solar plexus. We will breathe in from this place. Breathe in. Breathe out. And we'll take Eagle Mudra. This is Garuda Mudra. I just learned this from my beautiful friend Catherine. Um, but you cross your hands, so you're making a kind of like a butterfly, and your right hand goes over your heart, and your left hand goes over on this side, and you cross your thumbs. So you made this little eagle, all right? And we're, we will inhale on the right, so take a deep breath in and give yourself a tap with this right hand. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, tap the opposite side. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. Let's take 10 of these. And you're seeking your breath with this little movement up top, but it is so powerful just to feel the tapping on your chest, feeling the wave of the breath coming in, and then the tapping signaling the breath that it's okay to leave. It's okay to let go. Maybe you sink a little bit lower for these next couple breaths. Again, breathe in, tap right. Breathe out, tap left. All right, now we straighten all the way up and we'll hop to the top of our mats, hands at your side body. All right, how are we doing? If you need to grab a sip of water, please do so. We are still on Mom Flow Playlist on Spotify, so if you need a little energy jump, if you need a little bit more vibration, I invite you to turn that on. It's on Spotify. All right. Are we warm? Let's get moving. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift. Plant your hands. Load it back. Walk it back. High below. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Plant the foot, pivot the back foot, warrior one. Hands behind you. So we're interlacing our fingers, palms are touching. Roll your shoulders down and back. Take a big breath in. Exhale, fold, humble warrior. Right shoulder to the inside of your right knee. Beautiful, take your left hand down, right arm up. Dragonfly twist. Your gaze is towards this top hand. Take both hands down. Pyramid pose. Straighten out your right foot. Lay your top body over your bottom leg. And your breath is super fluid. Your body's building some heat, so you might feel your breath work start to kick in. I know mine just did. Fluid big breath. Inhale, look forward, about six inches away from your big toe. We'll plant our hands, take the left leg up for warrior three. If you have a block or a stack of books, maybe a little toy car, send them. You can stack it and just make the ground a little bit closer to you. This is Virabhadrasana three. Flex the left foot, your hips and your belly square to your mat. Hands to your heart, breathe in. Exhale, close the pose, knee to knee for Shiva squat. Inhale, lengthen out, back to warrior three. Exhale, Shiva squat. Let's take one more time, breathe in. Exhale, Shiva squat, and we'll draw a line with the left knee all the way down so we're seated. So you're in this funky crisscross shape. Your right foot will be towards the left side of your body. Right arm behind you, left arm up, inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist. One more time, breathe in. And twist. 
Beautiful. We'll unravel to the back of the house. So we're moving to the opposite side now. Downward facing dog, facing your back wall. Inhale, left leg up. Step it all the way through, pivoting the back foot while you're one. So your left foot leads this time. Hands interlace behind you, roll your shoulders down and back, give it a big stretch and then fold it forward. Release the weight of your head from your neck. Beautiful yogi. Right hand down, left arm up, dragonfly twist. Both hands down, shift the weight of your top body over your left leg. Pyramid pose. You can walk your hands back. Inhale, look up about six inches above your big toe. We're lifting off into Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. Your hands came to your heart. Check in with your intention. You can also take your arms up in front of you or behind you or to the nearest couch <laughs> or floor. Breathe in. On your exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to knee. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to knee and hold. Fix your posture. Belly in, knit your ribs back and we'll draw a line with the right knee all the way down to the outside of your left ankle. Take a seat. Left hand behind you, right arm up. Breathe in. Exhale for the twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist. One more time, breathe in and twist. Beautiful. Let's unravel. We're back to the front of the mat just how we started. Let's take it a little bit quicker this time. Shake out the right, shake out the left before we get moving. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it all the way through. Warrior one. Humble warrior. Left hand down, right arm up for your dragonfly twist. Let's take both hands down, pyramid pose. Look forward, push off, Virabhadrasana three, that's warrior three, inhale. Exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, and knee to knee. Drop your hands if it's too much, breathe in. Exhale, knee to knee. Draw a line down your leg. Take a seat. Right hand behind you, left arm up, breathe in. Exhale, twist. Two more times, breathe in. Spine straight and twist. Last time, breathe in. Deep exhale through the nose or mouth. Unravel to the back of the house. Down dog. Left leg reaches and left leg steps through. Pivot the back foot while you're one. Hands interlace, humble warrior. Right hand down, left arm up, dragonfly twist. Both hands down, pyramid pose. Looking up about six inches above your left toes, Virabhadrasana three is waiting. Allow for the wobble, breathe in. Exhale, knee to knee, intention. Extend. Intention. Extend. Exhale. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out and slide it down. Left hand behind you, right arm up, inhale. Exhale for your twist. Lengthen, twist, inhale, exhale. Unravel to face the front of the house, downward facing dog. And we'll take a couple breaths in down dog or in child's pose to just recenter and 
just giving yourselves a moment here to notice what's changed. Just to notice maybe what's bubbled up. And again, like I said, in your practice and even in life, there's places that will remain closed until you get so uncomfortable that you're like, okay, fine, fine, I'll let it go. But we have to practice the fluidity of the energy through the body to get there. So there will be some poses that you don't like where you are pushing and pushing and pushing against them. And you're like, I'm not doing that, Sarah. But I'm here to tell you that no matter what shows up in the practice, it's all useful. So remember, we surrender. We surrender. We fully surrender. And be fiercely awake and just be alive as we move into the next couple postures. So from your um, down dog or your child's pose, meet me in standing at the top of your mat. Standing at the top of your mat. All the weight is in your left foot. Let's pull the right knee into your chest. Give it some circles here. And maybe you switch directions. Make sure you're standing up nice and tall, your shoulders away from your ears, ribs back, and you're slightly lifted. Beautiful. Let's take the knee out to the side. So we're opening up just through the ball and socket joint. We'll take it back to center. And now open it up to the side. One more time. Breathe in, take it forward. Breathe out, open. All right. Take it back to center. And we'll find a figure four cross. So we're finding this beautiful shape. Bend the left leg, hands come to your heart. Two more breaths here. Pull the right knee into the chest again. And now we'll take the left hand to about 11 o'clock. So we're moving slow, go super slow to half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. It's a great time for a block, but your left hand is at about 11 o'clock and we're opening the hips and the heart to the right side of the room. So this is half moon pose. And if your hand always hangs out on a block or the mat, I want you to try to put it on top of your left shin. Allow yourself to wobble, allow yourself to pull out of this pose. Take a couple more breaths here. Beautiful, and then we'll micro bend this left leg, reversing your warrior. And then we'll vinyasa, take a flow here. Chaturanga, upward dog, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, walk or float to the top of your mat. And as slow as you can, like you're moving through water, roll it all the way up. All right, we'll take the left leg up. And we'll just squeeze it in here. Give it a little love. Roll out your ankle one way, roll it the other way. And then find some stillness. Maybe put again on your belly so you feel where that breath is resonating. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take your left leg out. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, take it out. You're lifted, you're rooted. Breathe in, you're alive, you are moving. Exhale, take it out. One more time, breathe in, center. And then push it out. So from center, we take that figure four cross. So your left ankle on top of your right quad. Hands to heart. And notice all the musculature right now that's holding you together in this posture. Give it some love. Just say thank you for this body. May I be able to let you find grounding today. All right, let's come back up. Pull the left knee into your chest. Right hand will be at about two o'clock on your mat. All the weight is in this right leg. Half moon. 
So your hips are open to me now. And if you need a block or that stack of books from your library, from your office, go get it. This is Half Moon Pose, Ardha Chandrasana. And you can take your gaze up, you can keep your head neutral, or you can look down. If you need the most grounding today, I invite you to look down. Beautiful micro bend your right leg. Reverse ourselves out of this and flow. Breathe in and up. Breathe out and back. Beautiful sweet yogis. Inhale, right leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip. You can flip your dog. Flip it back if you flipped it. And let's take the right knee across the body to the left elbow. Give it a tap. Inhale up. Exhale to the right elbow. Inhale, reach. And then move it forward for your half pigeon. Lengthen on the inhale. Hold on the exhale. And it takes a lot of strength to surrender, especially in the poses where you're not moving. And the stronger, the stronger you can be with your breath in these postures, the easier they will be. Giving up what we think should be happening here and just being okay with how the shape stands. Doesn't matter what we look like, right? It just matters that we, one, breathe in the posture and we, we stretch the uncomfortable. So if this isn't enough for you, let's pull the right heel away from the body and find that place where we're kind of flirting with the edge there. And we'll take 10 deep belly breaths here. If you've been coming for a while and you can flatten out like a pancake, let's get the shoulders down today. Close your eyes. Beautiful. Flick your eyes open. Let's take both of our hands underneath our shoulders. Curl under your left toes, and with all of that strength in your powerhouse, and your solar plexus, pull your navel to spine, pull your hips up, lead with your abdominals, right leg to the sky. Right leg to the inside elbow, stamp the foot. Inhale, lengthen out for fallen triangle. Beautiful. And take a seat. We're in a wide leg forward fold facing the back diagonal. So we can stay here, like for me, I'm feeling this. This is probably my max today. If you've been coming for a while and you really need to lean into the muscles that are holding up your femur bone, then you can start to fold forward. But if you are not there and you are not ready, there's no forcing here. We're just seeing where we fall. And once you fall, let go of any muscular engagement that's holding you back. Beautiful, sweet yogis. Let's take three more breaths here. Inhale, look up. Hop up onto your fingertips. Walk it all the way back. We're turning towards the front of our mats, curling under your left toes. Pull the right knee in. Stretch it up and back. Maybe some circles if you need them. Switch directions. Feels good, y'all. Let's go back to downward facing dog. Left leg will lead up. Exhale, left to right. Inhale, up. Exhale, left to left. Inhale, up and back. 
Let's stay here with an open hip, and if you flipped your dog on the right, let's flip it over here. If you didn't, stay here with me. <sighs> flip it back over, send the left leg high, and then all the way through for that half pigeon pose. Inhale, puff up your chest. On your exhale, fold forward. Remember, you flirt with that edge. Don't go over, don't push, don't force. Let's flirt with it. And this is part of your practice, is to notice the grounding elements of these postures. Feel the touch points that are associated with your mat. All the places on this side of the body where you can feel your mat. Let it be a symbol of all that surrounds you, of all that supports you, of all that's lifting you up, even when you can't see it. It's there. Flat out like a pancake for the last couple breaths of this posture. Make your breath fluid. Close your eyes. See if you soften. With your eyes open, let's plant our hands underneath our shoulders. Curl under your right toes. Pull your abdominals in, knit your ribs in, left knee into the chest, take it up and open. And then the left leg will touch the right elbow or shoulder, weave the leg through for fallen triangle or starfish pose. Right leg is bearing as much weight as the left palm, breathe in. On your exhale, sit it down for your wide leg forward fold, seated. On your next inhale, look up, walk the hands towards the body, and we'll twist left, plant the hands, curl under the right toes, send the left leg up, roll it out if you need to, leave it if you don't, and then we'll take our last downward facing dog of your practice, hips are higher than they ever were before, the backs of your legs are saying thank you, and your breath, without you even doing that much, is coming a little bit more easily. Walk your feet to your hands. Let's take a seat. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. We have Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. Your feet are towards me. And your feet are flexed. Inhale, gather up the energy. Reach up. On your exhale, lead with your lowest rib. Catch your toes. Breathe in, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. A couple more breaths. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, look up, release your toes. And it's at this moment where I invite you to do anything that I didn't offer that maybe you need. When you're ready, Shavasana is waiting. We lie flat on the back, on our mat and you just zen out. And we have to use these postures at the end. Uh, as much as like we were excited to get here, we have to be just as excited to close because these are the places in your practice where you grow the most. Um, it's a form of meditation. You are just blissed out, nowhere to go, absolutely nothing to do. You're breathing and you're resting in a safe space on this closed course where you experienced all this emotion, all of this energy, all of these templates, these shapes, and your body needs to digest them. Your body needs to house them somewhere safe so that it becomes part of you and those neural pathways that you created. It's so useful 
and to mothering, right? To to driving, to living during the time of a pandemic, to all the all that stuff. Um, so this is how we close a practice. If you have a pillow, you can place a pillow under your heart. You can also place a pillow under your legs. And just recline it back. I like to have my arms up, palms up, hand to heart. And again, over to go, nothing to do for the next five full minutes. Breathe and rest. I'll mind the time, I'll wake you up in five minutes. I invite you to take a deep breath in through the nose, filling up your belly, your lungs, your chest, opening up your mouth, sighing it out. 
again, take a deep breath in through your nose, belly, ribs, chest, everything expands and opens. And on your exhale, choose not to close. Again, deep breath in through the nose, belly, ribs, chest, everything's expanding. And then on your exhale, let something go. Wiggle your fingers and start to wiggle your toes, evoking mindful movement to the body. Mindful movement. Reach the arms back, feet towards the front of the house. We talked a lot about surrender today. Surrendering to the invisible great force that is behind everything. And when we stop struggling so much, we find that tasks become easier. I thank you for making it to your mat today, to making time um, just for self-love, right? To make time for you so that you can be a better human, a better mother, a better teacher, a better spouse. And when we come to our mat, we always leave better. We are able to surrender to life exactly as it unfolds, to be fiercely awake, to move from love, to stay a little bit more positive, to gain perspective, and most importantly, to set intention. These little shifts, they change the way we move, they change the way that we live. I invite you to feel it all today, the pain, the pause, the pose, the past, anything from keeping you right now, anything that's telling you I am not, because you are. Reach the arms over your head, feet towards the front of the house. Pull your knees into your chest, give yourself a big hug. Big hug, bigger, bigger. Roll to your right. Pause a moment for gratitude. Three things that make you thankful today. Gratitude has this amazing power to shift us into a more positive mindset, yes, um, but to make us focus on contentment rather than fear or disappointment or um, even grief. We'll push into the mat. Feel the earth grounding you as you take a seat in Sukhasana or easy sitting. And that's simply just a crisscross fold of your legs. And it's here we'll start to close the pose, close the practice with some grounding energy. And we'll take our hands to our knees. I can't see my hands. We'll take our hands to our knees, palms face down, ready to give energy, palms face up if you're ready to receive. Close your eyes. And know that this feeling of peace, this feeling of calm, it never leaves you. It's always there. You just have to take time to hone in and discover it. Beautiful. We take our arms to side body. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Gather. Exhale, hands to your heart. We'll take that a couple more times. Inhale, gather. And on your exhale, breathe all that into your heart space. Couple more times, breathe in and up. Exhale, heart. And one more time, breathe in. Exhale, heart. We'll take three deep breaths here to close the practice. The first one's for you. The second one's for someone you love. The third one is for someone you don't know, but who you know needs some help today. Breathe in. Breathe out. And breathe out. And the last one for a stranger. Breathe in. Breathe out. Flicker your eyes open. The divine in me honors the divine in you. Surrender to that great invisible force. Be well. All my light. All my love. All my blessing. Namaste. Thank you for practicing me with me, sweet yogis. I hope to see you again on the mat soon. I'm offering live Zoom classes by appointment. So if there's something that you need that 
you know, I'm not offering on these classes. Sometimes we can get super specific as to what we need in a yoga practice. Um, so if you feel like you're missing something or you need a little bit more help, please reach out to me at either Sarah Shiplet Yoga at gmail.com or via my Instagram page or um, YouTube channel. And I'm so thankful that you're here sharing this time with me, sharing this space. Um, it's been my honor to guide you through these YouTube videos. Um, I'm still kind of getting my footing, so I'm thanking you for all of the grace that you're giving me. Um, I can feel it, and I'm so honored and thankful to be your teacher and your guide as I share this practice with you. So again, all my light, all my love, all my blessings. And if you could please tag me in any of the postures that we're doing um, in these classes, even if you made like a video, that would be awesome. And just tag me at Sarah Shiplet Yoga on Instagram. Have a great day. Be well. Stay safe. Stay, stay safe and wash your hands and don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. I love you all.